This is an old airport luggage trailer that I'd already repurposed into basically being a skidder for moving logs around. Uh, we're going to cut this down and uh, make it a base for the jaw crusher. Starting with removing the cleaning, or well, removing all the uh, excess steel on the rear axle and then making a small frame to lift uh, the front axle so the machine will sit sit flat um, lengthways and then we'll have to remove the the middle of it and put some uh, just two rails running down the sides to shrink it down as it's about a about a foot too long a little while later we've got the uh, the front uh, made up a little front bracket to uh, a little truss to bring uh, to bring it up in line with the uh, rear axle. It's still a little still a little um, a little high, so I've just got to cut another 20 mil off that um, the bottom of that truss, and then uh, we can cut out cut the middle that weird middle steel out and uh, add some new side rails and shorten this overall by 300 mil or a foot. A little bit further on we've uh, shrunk it down somewhat put a little bit of a lean on it maybe a few degrees just so it uh, tends towards the back and uh, I've just got to give the uh, front wheels here a, a little bit of a wheel alignment with a bottle jack, and then uh, we uh, might move the uh, move the crusher over and uh, put her on. Getting ready to pull her on now. Uh, well, it was minus five Celsius here last night, so I'm glad. It's like two inches thick, so I'm glad I uh, emptied the engine, or otherwise uh, if I hadn't drained it, I'd be ordering another engine right now. So I'm quite tempted just to winch it on the rops. Um, just pull it straight over and then, because it doesn't weigh more than the tractor, hmm, what could possibly go wrong? Put a roller under the front to stop it dipping down. Work for the Egyptians. It's stuff like this is why da farming is so dangerous. But, eh. The um, excavator's steadying it, but, you know, oh and s would have a fit, but, you know. <sighs> this is why we don't get anything done. It's getting there, slowly. The spare wear plate's wedged underneath it, though, so I'm not sure how I'm going to get that out, but... That's 15 minutes in the future, Bradley's problem. Right, we got it on. A better worlder than me has arrived, coincidentally. My, uh, my best mate, Jake, is a uh, boiler maker by trade, so he can do the final, final world, so if they break, it's his fault. But we're gonna see how they go, because we might have to put a, um, a rubber mount in there, but we'll see. The, um, the tyres might take up quite a bit of it. <laughs> 